Republican, Bob from Oil Chairman, Roy Tennyson, Executive Secretary, with Commissioner Art Lurie in attendance. The officials assigned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission at this time, the judges are Dwayne Ford, Dolby Shirley, and Hal Miller. The timekeeper is Al Bicek, counting at the knockdowns, Charlie Roth, the attending physicians at ringside, doctors Donald Romeo and Flip Pomansky, and the referee is Richard Steele. This is the main event of the evening, 12 rounds of boxing for the WBC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing, in the blue corner, the challenger, rated number three by the WBC in the world, fighting out of Pontiac, Michigan, weighing 216 pounds, he is undefeated in his professional career with 24 wins, no defeats, one draw, and 20 KOs. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the challenger, Pinklin, Pinky, Thomas. And in the red corner, introducing the WBC champion of the world in the heavyweight division. He fights out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. He weighed in at 217 pounds. His professional record consists of 18 wins, one defeat, with 12 KOs. Ladies and gentlemen, the champion, terrible Tim Witherspoon. Okay, I gave both fighters and instructions in the dressing room. I want to caution you, obey my commands at all times. When I say break, stop punching, take a step back. Protecting yourself at all times. Shake hands, good luck to both of you. They say the heavyweight division isn't what it used to be, and they may be right. Certainly as far as the color of the challenger's trunks, pink. <laughs> It didn't used to be that way. <laughs> but I'll tell you, if your name is Pinky, you've got to be tough. You've got to fight. Grandfather named Franklin, grandmother named Pinky. They combined them, and it became Pinklin. And he's actually the, the second of the Pinklins, and his son is also a Pinklin. And here's a guy who has not changed the expression on his face in the four days that we've been here in Las Vegas. He has looked exactly the same at all times. And incidentally, one other note as we get started here in the first round. That Tim Witherspoon actually got a mixture of cheers and boos when he was introduced. So as we mentioned, he's a champion, but he has to treat himself as a challenger. He's got a lot to prove. What, you, what I've noticed, both fighters are standing straight up, and they're winning the best shots. So we could have a flash flood knockdown. Uh, there, well, there's no perspiration. I guess that's because of the national anthem. Uh, Pinkman Thomas has that good left jab, good strong left jab. Tim Witherspoon works the body very well. Very strong inside. He has said he's got to punch more, he's got to be more active, and he said he was going to do that. Now we'll see if the man can change his style. We saw one man try to change his style in a fight just a moment ago, and we saw him lose. Greg Page was a different Greg Page, but the result was a loss to David Bay. Both fighters are very tight at this point, Barry, and uh, they're just trying to establish themselves with their left jabs. Thomas, former track man, has very good legs, good solid looking fighter takes a good chopping right hand by Tim Witherspoon that's going to happen throughout the fight as long as both fighters are standing straight up and Thomas content to keep that left hand down around his waistband and just inviting that right hand lead he knows that uh, Tim Witherspoon always finishes off by throwing a body shot he's very he's a very good body puncher he knows exactly how to wear his man down and then take advantage of it. Neither one of these fighters has been around for a long time, interesting to note. Well, I think natural talent that both fighters has and uh, just that natural raw physical strength that compensates for the inexperience. Witherspoon, 19 years old when he started fighting. Pinkman Thomas, 21 years old when he started fighting. And they had three amateur fights. Actually, a little bit of swelling early along the left eye of Pinklin Thomas. Well, they both just wheel away at each other and they're standing in front. No movement, no uh, lateral movement, no angles. Everything's they're right in front of each other. That was a two-punch combination by Thomas. Pretty early to have any swelling, and Thomas does have just ever so slight an amount on the cheek. He took a good punch that time from Tim Witherspoon. 
Oh, look at the right hand of Pinkler Thomas. He drops it every time he extends that left jab. A left hook by uh, Tim Witherspoon would be beautiful. Something to watch for, and he does, in fact, do that. Tim Witherspoon, true to his word, has been much more active in round one here. Let's go into the corner of Tim Witherspoon, the champion. What's in your jab, right? Jab left foot. Left foot, left foot up off the jab. All right. All right. Give him a little rinse. Aaron Snow is 24 years old, a trainer. Probably the youngest trainer ever of a heavyweight champion. All right. Jab left foot, Tim. He keeps pushing your jab, all right? And there you see with your, his back to you, the veteran trainer, Angelo Dundee, was brought in just two weeks ago to be with Pinklin Thomas. Stay loose. See what you do licks this fall, right? Let's do it. You stay loose. Don't get tight. Come on. Angelo Dundee is looking for his 10th world champion in this fight. He is 63 years old. Just yesterday, in fact, Ray. Happy birthday, Angelo. We'll see if it is or not. Angelo Dundee does have a way of getting the attention of his fighter in the corner. I'll say that, Ray. Well, so we're smacking your back. <laughs> it brings you back to life. And that's what Angelo's trying to do with Pickler Thomas. Uh, he doesn't want his man to uh, remain stiff and tight. He wants him to loosen up a bit. And Pinklin Thomas is straight up and down here, and right now the better jabs are coming from Tim Witherspoon. And uh, now Pinklin Thomas broke that left jab. Once again, the right hand of Pinklin Thomas is down. He drops it. And I don't see why Tim Witherspoon is not taking advantage of it. That's, That's the right, right hand. hand. That was a good punch, even though Tim Witherspoon was falling away when he threw it. Another quick right hand lead. And Thomas keeps that left hand down by his side, too, until he flicks the jab, and then he drops his right hand. I'm more so concerned with that right hand of Pinkler Thomas because uh, the left hand, his shoulders are protecting him. But that right hand always bothers him. He's just too straight up, though. I mean, jabs, right hands can easily hit. Connect, rather. Witherspoon scoring with some proficiency here. What's going to be the case? case? Good combination by Thomas that time. Might have stunned or at least gotten the attention of Tim Witherspoon. And what's doing the damage is, is the left jab of Pickett Thomas because it's like a right hand because he's converted southpaw. Witherspoon picking up the pace early on here, something he has not done in the past. He promised everybody he would. He's been true to his word so far. But he's got a tough customer in front of him tonight. I've seen both fighters much more relaxed in other fights than I've seen tonight. Combination by Witherspoon, both score. Thomas seems to telegraph his punches a little bit, too. Well, Pinkton, especially when he throws that right hand to the body, it's open glove, so it's not really that effective. Right hand lead that time by Thomas. Just then, uh, Tim Witherspoon was switching southpaw. He didn't land. They both seem so tight to me, though. Right hand by Thomas, or rather by Witherspoon again. As Ray Leonard mentioned earlier, Pinkman Thomas, a converted southpaw. In fact, he is really left-handed. He writes left-handed, does most things left-handed. Good right hand combination by Pinkman Thomas. Jab is effective when it does get in. Heavy-handed, Pinkman Thomas. Oh, no, we want to remind you that we have plenty of boxing coming your way here on HBO. Another outstanding fight card, World Championship Boxing, coming up on Friday, October 19th. We will be in New York at Madison Square Garden where marvelous Marvin Hagler, the undisputed middleweight champion, tries it again against Mustafa Hamshow. Hamshow much improved from the last time these two saw each other. And a lot of people are saying that perhaps marvelous Marvin Hagler can be had. Hagler, of course, doesn't think so. Deep breath. You got, don't worry about it. You got plenty of time. Plenty of time. Spin it out. Took a shot under the heart and bring it back over the top. Quick movements up top. <laughs> Let's see you go. 
Tim Witherspoon asked if Thomas's eye was cut. Perhaps he saw some reddening there. He's at two big, strong men just standing in front of each other and punching away. That's exactly what's happened. This whole fight has been fought in the center of the ring. It's a 20-foot square. It's been fought in about four-foot square. Well, there's just a little redness under the eyes of Pickett Thomas. And uh, <laughs> I'm sure Tim, Tim Witherspoon wants to go after it and make it worse. continues to work very hard offensively. Once again, he's with the swing, he's turning southpaw. What's happening? Both fighters are just trying to load up with one big punch. Those are good shots to the body by Witherspoon. Very good body shot. Witherspoon looking very sharp. Takes that jab again. When Thomas gets that jab inside, it is a very effective punch, and it actually snaps the head of his opponent back. The other thing no. to keep in mind is that Thomas is a fighter who historically has fought better in the later rounds. Well, now Thomas just tried to land a, a good right hand. And what you're saying now, both fighters get relaxed. Good body shot with the uh, left hook to the body thrown by uh, Tim Witherspoon. But as I was saying, Barrett, they're both fighters getting, getting loose now. And uh, you'll see more punches thrown. Witherspoon staying very busy so far, being pretty sharp with his punches. Both men actually fairly sharp with their punches. You have to be very careful uh, with this one way he walks away. Uh, because what can happen, Pickle Thomas will rush in and land some shots. Witherspoon talking to Thomas saying, come on, come on. That's a good left hook. Some pretty heavy punches being landed through the first two and a half rounds here. Witherspoon a little bit short with the right hand. We had his man open. Witherspoon did an interesting thing there. Before he took two punches from Thomas, he just took a big, deep breath. But he stood directly in front of uh, Pinkle Thomas. That's why Pinkle was able to land. That jab just... Uh, and he's still breathing through his mouth. And I don't know if there's some trouble. Might have been hit in the stomach or something and, and not caused him to catch his breath. Witherspoon was blinking now. That jab, as I was stating, the uh, jab of Pinkle Thomas is so strong and so devastating. Thomas being very efficient here. And Witherspoon's pace has slowed considerably here in this round. Now Pinkle is doing the right thing. He's trying to pick his shots. Wild right hand by Witherspoon at the bell. Interesting round, I think, Larry. I think that Thomas put some real hurt on Witherspoon in that round. A left jab made him made him blink. Uh, and for some reason, Witherspoon looked like he was sucking a little air there. I don't know what that was all about. There you see Witherspoon pouring through the defense. Uh, Thomas pouring through Witherspoon's defense. Here's another look at it. As you notice, Witherspoon tries to use his right hand as a parrying defensive weapon. And what Thomas is trying to do is find ways to come around it, both with the right and the left hooks. This is the fourth round, and Pinklin Thomas started to exert himself in that last round. Well, Witherspoon was instructed to work that body, right hand to the body and back up to the head. But he has to get inside first. And what's going to get him inside, Barry, is the left jab. Backhanded him. <laughs> and Richard Steele steps in and says, you can't do that. That was a version of Bruce Lee. We have seen that a number of times tonight. You 
You know, you can almost see a fighter when he decides that he's got respect for his man, and that's the way Tim Witherspoon looks to me right now. He looks like he's thinking, this guy can hurt me. I'm sure he's aware of that. And I'm, I noticed that uh, Witherspoon is constantly blinking his eye. It appears to me it's starting to bother him. Witherspoon doesn't appear to me, Barry, to be in the fight. I mean, he just doesn't seem as confident of, as I've seen him in the, his previous fights. And he's blinking like a fighter who might have been thumbed. I don't, I didn't see that happen, but it's not inconceivable that it could have. I mean, just Witherspoon was just not as aggressive. He's just, he's just there. And you notice that Thomas is just taking advantage of it, and he's picking his shots. He used that left jab very well. And what's protecting Thomas is his shoulders, because uh, Tim Witherspoon's punches a roundhouse and is riding over uh, Thomas' shoulders. Witherspoon covering up, and Thomas still scoring. A little bit of swelling, not appreciably, but a little bit of swelling along the left eye of Tim Witherspoon. He's now, taking a lot of shots. I noticed that Witherspoon puts both feet together. Very bad. It's so easy to, get, to be knocked down or knocked off balance. You know, the other side of the coin, we talked about the fact that Thomas is a straight up and down fighter, but he does always seem to be on balance when he punches. He's flat footed, really seems to get the most out of his punches. That was a good right hand by Witherspoon. Watch the jab, look at the jab of Pickett Thomas. I mean, he's starting to double up now. And what Witherspoon is doing, he's starting to telegraph that right hand. Pickett Thomas is waiting for it, and that's why he just covers up. Thomas pacing himself as he has in most every fight. For a moment, Witherspoon goes soft paw again, now switches back. Look at that left jab just getting through. And it's consistent, Barry. And it's starting to bother Witherspoon. Witherspoon breathing through his mouth a little bit. He's absorbed a lot of punishment, actually. There hasn't been the one big punch. But Thomas has got that jab in his face, and it's a very effective jab. You can just hear it snap every it, time he uses exactly. it. He's snapping it. <laughs> it appears to me he's trying. He's waiting for it to get his right hand in because the jab is definitely finding its way through to the defense of Witherspoon. Yeah. All right, start putting a little bit more pressure on him. Just start, start, start squatting down and shooting jabs. Start shooting jabs. Squat down on him. Your legs are a little bit too straight up in the air, all right? Start squatting down. Start pumping. You want to step to him now, all right? Make him use his legs, all right? Make him lose his le legs now, all right? Jab. Yeah. Jab, left foot to the body. It's a good right fight. hand up top. Yeah, it's a good fight, Tim. All right? Just put a little more, bit, more, more pressure on him. Jab up a little bit. Put Pick it up. Get, get looser with that yeah. jab. Yeah, get looser with that jab. He's trying to get looser. No, come on. Well, stop backing up. And when he turns softball, yeah, yeah, yeah. when he turns softball, jab him. You can. Jab him when he turns softball. Get up. Come on. Get up, next champ. Come on. You heard Witherspoon ask whether it was a good fight. Once again, his concern that he is performing so that the public will appreciate his performance. But of course, he's got to win. Uh, you know, Angelo has struck a pick that Thomas. Once uh, Tim Witherspoon turns to Southpaw, to release that left jab, because he can catch him while he's in motion. Well, the jab has been very effective for Pinklin Thomas, and he seems, for the last round and a half or so, to have taken charge in this fight. The right out there is really bothering uh, Tim Witherspoon. He seems Blinking to be. In. Seems to be. One of the three punches landed by Witherspoon, and now he retreats to the ropes. Witherspoon is so concerned on whether or not he's looking good or whether or not it's a good fight that I think it's just breaking his concentration. <laughs> Subscribing to the theory that it's not whether you win or lose, it's how you look playing the game. Well, and that's the way to make more money, too. You've got to be impressive, and I think this was on his mind. You know, the other thing that strikes me, too, about the way Witherspoon fights, Witherspoon seems to be looking at the belt buckle of Pink Pinklin Thomas and not into his eyes. Well, I don't know exactly what his strategy is. I mean, he's been going to the body whatever opportunity he has, but he has not been consistent, consistent enough. Whereas at Pinklin Thomas, I mean, he's moving away. He's using his footwork. He steps out of uh, reach of uh, Witherspoon. Look, he's very elusive there. Backhanded him again. And once more, Richard Steele 
gives him a warning about it. And that could prove to be costly if they deduct the realm. You know, just as we said earlier that Witherspoon seems at this point to respect the fact that Thomas can hurt him, the opposite, I feel, is true about Thomas. I, I believe he doesn't think that Witherspoon can hurt him. Well, Witherspoon has yet to land some big, that was big a good punches. Good right hand there by Thomas. And there is a lunging shot by Witherspoon once more. It could possibly, like I said, but it could, well, he's deducted one round. <laughs> and now you may see frustration in the eyes of Tim Witherspoon, which he can lose his composure and leave himself wide open. So one point deducted from Tim Witherspoon by Richard Steele. Two warnings in this round for backhanding. You know, something uh, with, I mean, Pinkman Thomas is so relaxed, man. I mean, he's uh, in control. He feels he's totally dominating this fight. And uh, he's showing no respect whatsoever to Tim Witherspoon. That's why I say he's fighting like a man who doesn't feel that he can be hurt. Last time I said that, you got knocked down. Let's not talk about that, okay? <laughs> If, indeed, Thomas won that round on the judges' cards, he, it would be a two-point round, as good as a big knockdown round. Now there you see where he came back with his backhand. This is the wrong sport for a backhand. There you'll see it again there. It's an instinctive reaction. He's not doing it deliberately, and he's sorry almost immediately as he hits his opponent, but it cost him a point that could be an important point. Lunging right hand by Witherspoon showing some frustration on his part. Now he's got to start thinking of winning and not looking good. Right now the champion is behind in this fight. Some of the best punches of the fight are being thrown by Angelo Dundee between rounds, I'll tell you that. That's it, step, make it back up. So this is the sixth round. Step and again, up, Witherspoon comes out blinking his eyes. Pump it, don't wait on him. There you go, don't wait Thomas on him. has been so good as far as uh, getting away from those punches thrown by Witherspoon. Yeah. It seems as though he don't knows exactly when to move that head. You're waiting on him, Tim. He's very, very calm also. Seems to be in control. And he seems to have Witherspoon confused. Well, that is the key to the fight. In fact, uh, Thomas is far more relaxed than Witherspoon. Now, Thomas took two left hooks by Witherspoon. Might have been his best shots, and he didn't back him up at all. Oh, look who was that. Oh, look who was that. Now, back to the southpaw, and he was caught. And he, what I see in Witherspoon, he's just floating his jab out. He's southpaw. And I really, I still see that the blinking in Witherspoon, that his eyes, whatever eye it is, it's really bothering him. Well, Thomas showing an uncanny ability to get through those gloves on the jab. And now I see Witherspoon is rushing in. And Witherspoon looked at Richard Steele about something. I'm not too sure, but Witherspoon's not hurt here. His eyes are really bothering him, I see now he's blinking both eyes now. Definitely is, and I think he wanted to tell Richard Steele something, but remember the credo of protect yourself at all times. <laughs> Thomas goes downstairs. What Thomas should do, he should stand outside and use that jab. Because quite naturally, the eyes are bothering him. Uh, his eyes are really bothering him now, and he can just pick him off. We haven't heard any conversation in Witherspoon's corner about any problem with his eyes, but the fact is he has been blinking for most of the fight. Look at the left jab of uh, Pinkman Thomas. He's getting through the defense of Witherspoon so easily now. And a right hand comes right over the top. And again the jab, right through the gloves. Radar jab. Thomas' jab is getting through beautiful, but I think he should put some, uh, some punch, more punches together. Right hand, left hook. But he is picking the tempo up here. He's coming with the right hand a lot more than he was early. That left jab is devastating. Just snapping the head of Tim Witherspoon. 
And Witherspoon, a right hand and a left hand to the chin of Pinkman Thomas. But again, Thomas doesn't take a backward step. See, Thomas, he's using that shoulder again. That was a good left hand by Thomas. And now he follows it up. Go hold him, give him up. Take a look here and see if Thomas can how he's trying to penetrate with his spoons cover up defense here. There was an exchange in the corner there that is very interesting. There's a lot of advice coming to the champion saying you can't let up, you got to go after him. And with a spoon responded, Let's not panic, I'm the champion. So Witherspoon, obviously, in his mind at least, knows what he's doing. Should also point out, this fight is for 12 rounds. Championship fight, WBC, 12, not 15. And what has been doing the most damage has been the left jab. Especially really, for Pinkman Thomas. I'm really impressed with the left jab of Pinkman Thomas. I really am. One of the best I've seen in the heavyweight division in a long time. Thomas, just a good athlete, was a track man, played basketball, played a little football. Look at that jab. That jab was beautiful. I tell you, he makes Tim Witherspoon look like one of those dogs in the back of a car. Those body shots now are starting to hurt uh, Pitchman Thomas. But Witherspoon doesn't stay down long enough. a good left hand by Witherspoon. I don't think uh, Pinker Thomas should be there because uh, he's doing a much better job and he's far more effective on the outside. Just using that left jab. Inside, he uh, he's taking a chance of being caught by one of those roundhouse punches thrown by Witherspoon. An overhand right by Witherspoon. Thomas, right at the moment, looks like he might be a little bit tired. That was a good right hand by Witherspoon. Again, but Peter Tom doesn't want to be inside of uh, fighting Tim Witherspoon's fight. He should be outside because he's given Witherspoon an opportunity to land some of those punches. The left jab has been working great for Peter Thomas. And especially he can do much more damage to the eyes because Witherspoon has been flicking throughout the fight. So that left jab will come in handy. And Witherspoon getting the better of it inside. Good right hand. That hurt Thomas. Thomas opens up, however. He was hurt, he came right back and hurt Witherspoon. Might have been the best exchange of the fight on both sides. Now you see what's happened to become going for punch for punch. There was a right hand. He measured Witherspoon to the right and hurt it. Franklin Thomas showed us some championship gumption right there. He looked tired. He caught a fusillade of punches and came back with a bigger fusillade. Right now, in my judgment, the champion is in very serious trouble. Unless he puts his challenger down somewhere along the way, I think we're going to see a change of title here. 
series of punches thrown by Pinkle Thomas. He's been very impressive using that left jab and um, really doing a number on Tim Witherspoon. The left jab has been bothering Tim throughout the fight. Witherspoon was a little shocked to see Thomas come back the way he did. It's still early. There are five rounds to go. But Witherspoon has got to get going. thing to mention along those lines. Witherspoon was a little bit slow, or rather, uh, Thomas was a little bit slow going back to his corner at the end of that last round. And he was leaning on Tim Witherspoon during the round. Now, maybe he was just taking a little bit of a blow. We'll see. And now the jab of uh, Witherspoon is starting to become effective. He's starting to land consistently. He's starting to come to life now. A lot of solid jabs in this fight. Good body shot by Witherspoon. Very effective jabs on both sides now. Witherspoon still seems to aim his right hand a little bit. He's not, uh, Witherspoon's not blinking as much, so it appears that um, his, uh, his, his vision is starting to clear up. It's frustrating to have a left jab in your face, but to have a strong left jab that is capable of knocking your back. <laughs> you really don't like that. It's really discouraging. There is just the slightest bit of reddening over the left eye of Pinkland Thomas. It's not anything that's a factor right at the moment, but one of those things to watch. Both men scoring here. You see the way that Pinkland Thomas shies away from that right hand. Pinkland is so strong, he just throws arm punches. He really doesn't put his body behind his punches. And as strong as he is, and there again, it might have been thumbed that time. Witherspoon blinking his eyes, trying to stay away, and you know he's having troubles here. We'll have to try to take a look at that, see if there was a thumb involved, Larry, at the end of this round. It just happens so quickly. It's, it's so hard to detect when she hits the replay. Witherspoon fights off the ropes lunging punches. Very good body movement by uh, Pinkman Thomas. And Witherspoon just stands there and takes a, cu took a couple of good shots. No question, but the, the right eye was bothering him. Does not seem to be bothering him right at the moment, however. If Pinkman Thomas will throw some shots and wants to get inside, he just keeps throwing punches if he decides to fight that in that manner. He's doing a very good job staying on the outside with the left jab. Witherspoon being active here and scoring probably the heavier of the two here in this round. Witherspoon came back in that round. He turned it around a bit. The question now is whether he can sustain it. Witherspoon came out blinking his eye. Right there. And I believe I did see a thumb there. It was absolutely thumbed in that, in that, with that punch. Right there. Right there you could see the thumb. It's plain as a picture. It's just so unfortunate a thumb could change the whole fight around. Tim Witherspoon has four rounds left to defend his title successfully. All well, right there, you did get a, a look at really what is the magic of television. It was definitely a thumb. It does not seem to be bothering Tim Witherspoon right at the moment. That is the right eye. What happens, but once uh, Thomas lands a jab to that eye, it, it starts, uh, Witherspoon starts to blink again. Yeah. 
and what I'm sure he's going through is blurred vision. Witherspoon started to load up a little bit over the last two rounds, and the swelling over the uh, left eye of Franklin Thomas is a little bit worse than it was now. Witherspoon, the more active of the two over the last round and a half. Spit a little bit uh, lead off right by Witherspoon. For, with for Witherspoon, his best bet is to get inside and work that body and stay aggressive. Good left hook by Witherspoon. Witherspoon started to load up a little bit here. Well, he's getting away a lot of rounds, and um, in fact, uh, he lost a corner one of the rounds for backhanding Pinkham Thomas. So he needs to get on the ball and become very aggressive. jab of Tom Pinklin Thomas has not been as effective the last two rounds and Tim Witherspoon has started to come around with some left hooks that have done some damage Pinkley Thomas throws that left jab to the body. What he should do when he pop a left jab to the body, come up upstairs with the right hand. There's a little bit, I believe, a trickle of blood over the left eye of Pinklin Thomas. We'll wait till they square around face us to be sure about that. out of you when you miss a big punch throw like that was thrown by a uh, Witherspoon. Coming down toward the end of the ninth round now, and Witherspoon's been very active the last two. Well, we want to remind you that tonight's presentation of Young Doctors in Love, there's an irony, all across the HBO network will certainly begin immediately following our coverage of World Championship Boxing, and the film, of course, will be seen in its entirety. Young Doctors in Love. Meanwhile, we're watching a couple of surgeons here in Las Vegas. All right, turn the right hand over every time you shoot the jab to your stomach, because he's been moving like this. Turn it over. All in, man. Yeah. Go ahead. Hey, son, nine minutes. That's all we got. Okay, baby? Keep that oh, hang out. Down. Yeah, I got it. Up right, and down. Down. Deep breath. Get my wrist. Get my wrist. Don't worry about your wrist. You got it. You deserve it, champ. Yeah, you go to left hook. Turn you know, over with the right hand. Okay? Oh, when, you go to the, when you go to the body with the left, turn it over. I thought I heard Thomas complaining about his ribs. Uh, there in the corner. He's been getting some good body shots. Witherspoon has come on in the last couple of rounds. And it's a question of whether he can keep it up for three more rounds. Conditioning and will will determine the end of this fight. Yeah, I, I thought I heard the same thing. I, I thought I heard him say, what about my ribs? <laughs> and we, of course, will get all the answers afterward. And when he did get hit downstairs, he backed out of there pretty quickly. Well, Witherspoon was a great body puncher. And um, I think if, if Witherspoon should stay downstairs, maybe he'll see a signal that uh, Thomas is hurt downstairs. Meanwhile, Thomas, I'm sure, will try to keep the jab in the face of Tim Witherspoon if he is hurt and just try to keep his man off him and hope that he's built up enough points over the early rounds. Another observation, too, that Pinklin Thomas is being... Oh, he just threw the right hand there. I was about to say he wasn't throwing the right hand very much, but he came with a couple of pretty good right hands over the top that time. This would be, outside of Mary and his beautiful wife, this would be a great achievement for Timber Thomas to win the world title. Angelo Dundee saying nine minutes. Nine minutes is all you've got to go. And 
Franklin Thomas, I'm sure, is counting every tick of that clock at this point. Well, it's been a very fast, a very uh, fast pace. In fact, I just say, Angela said, just nine minutes. It's a long nine minutes. It's a tough nine minutes. Thomas again getting that jab through to the face of Tim Witherspoon. And Witherspoon again backhands him to the stomach. That left jab has worked all night. Witherspoon lunges at Thomas and got a pretty good left hand and it back Thomas against the ropes. Thomas seems to want to fight every time he gets hit. The right hand is starting to drop again. So the left, the left hook will probably land if Witherspoon get close enough inside. Took by Witherspoon again. Fatigue is definitely uh, set inside of Pinkman Thomas, although he looked very impressive. That was partially caught on the gloves of Pinkman Thomas. But he doesn't need, need to take those kind of unnecessary punches, Barry. He'd get outside and uh, use that beautiful left jab that he has. Thomas opens up and Witherspoon's back to the ropes. Six minutes. Where this Witherspoon is still coming on. He doesn't seem to have the punch to stop Thomas. He's going to just have to overwhelm him in the last two rounds if he wants to win. You only got six minutes. This ain't no 15-round fight. Well, that's champ of the world, baby. Spit it out. Angelo Dundee is going after Thomas like a jockey on a horse coming down the stretch, trying to hold him together. We only got six minutes. Next round, Angelo say three minutes, baby. It's our old title. <laughs> now look, let it all hang By showing the horse the whip. You must not back up. When he tried to spin you, you did step right in front of him. Take, take it off. Get his legs, get his legs. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. of thousands of dollars, perhaps millions of dollars at stake here in the last two rounds of a heavyweight championship fight. A good, tough championship fight. One of the better heavyweight fights in the last couple of years, I think. In fact, the first one that we saw wasn't a bad one either, so we could conceivably have seen 24 pretty good, solid rounds of boxing. You know what's happening? Witherspoon has given Pinker Thomas an opportunity to get a breather, and that's exactly what he needs. So he'll, uh, Thomas will be content to stay on the outside and throw his jab and catch a breather every now and then. It does appear that Pinkman Thomas may have an injury, a rib injury of some sort, because he was exhorting his handlers to keep the pressure off by releasing some of the elasticity on his ba on the band of his trunks. His upper body movement, Thomas, he's great. I mean, he gets away from all those punches. And there's no worse injury, I would think, for any athlete, let alone a boxer, than a rib injury, because it affects your breathing. Thomas is breathing through his mouth a little bit. Witherspoon is busy, but he's not punching. Well, I'll tell you one thing. The fact that the way that uh, Witherspoon is fighting now, Pinker Thomas should, should be able to land more left jabs, especially against the ropes. I think Witherspoon at this point should be closer to his opponent inside and working the body more. But he's running out of time. This is a 12-round fight, and this is round 11. Witherspoon is constantly trying to land that left hook. He'll wait and take a few shots and then retaliate with his punch. Well, his left hook. Like, just land. Good solid left hook. And it stunned Franklin Thomas. And there's that jab again. It's a thing of beauty, bro. I mean, it's, it's, it's consistent, it's accurate. And it has a lot of power behind it. I think we're looking forward to an upset. But it's looking more and more like it. 
Of course, I've seen some pretty funny-looking decisions in Las Vegas. I have to say that. Come on, work it, get out. Work it, get out. Let's go. Pinkman is really tired. He was about to throw his right hand, and then he changed his mind. Pinkman Thomas fighting a defensive fight right at the moment. Witherspoon is tired also. Give him up. Witherspoon trying to work downstairs. And if Witherspoon, if uh, Thomas is bothered by a rib injury, he sure doesn't show it. I'm sure Angela's going to say, three minutes, baby, you're the champ. I thought that was a very odd round for Tim Witherspoon. I don't know why he let up. He may have given up the championship in the 11th round. Get his name, Zan. All right, get his name. Come on. Come on. Come on. Wake up. Wake up, Tim. Come on. Last round, right, Tim? It's the last round. Hey, Tim. Ain't no more. No This is the last round. There ain't no more. Keep your right hand up, Pink. No, no, no. And get under that left hook. Last round. Give him a rinse. You got it. Get all you want, baby. said was beat Pinklin Thomas for me. Means that he's got a tired man. And Witherspoon knows that he pretty much has to go for it all here. Oh, he's letting it all hang out now. So what, what, what Thomas has to do, in fact, Angelo's told him to keep those hands up. Witherspoon's going to be throwing everything. This is it. This is the final three minutes. Thomas in a situation of dance with what brung you. And what has brung him has been a very solid left jab. The left jab has been the key for Pinkton Thomas throughout the fight. Crowd has really appreciated this fight, too. And in fact, it's interesting that even if Tim Witherspoon should lose this fight, he probably will have won more friends than he did in beating Greg Page for the title. Good shot to the heart by Pinkman Thomas. I noticed there that Thomas brought that right hand up. And they were blocked with that hook thrown by Witherspoon. Witherspoon is fighting the kind of fight that looks to me like he thinks he's got it won, rather than a guy who thinks he's behind. Oh, that was beautiful body movement by Pickett. Now, this is where Witherspoon doesn't want to be against Pickett Thomas. His long arms and strong left jab will start to get through shortly. Watch for the right hand of Pinkman. Quick right hand lead as uh, Witherspoon leaned in on him. Crowd going into a chant here. Very appreciative crowd with good reason. Very good fight. It's a very good fight. And a very impressive Pinkman Thomas. It's been a rough life for Tim this morning. He's really trying desperately. And uh, <laughs> the guy's really giving his all. But I think it's just a little too late. And the fact is, too, as I said, he probably will have won more friends and maybe a better future, even if he loses this fight. And it ends in a flurry. Spoon, but a case, I believe, of too little, too late. At the bell, it's over. Each man hand held aloft, thinking he has won the fight. 
I think Pinklin Thomas has won the fight, but as I said, I've seen some very funny looking decisions here in Las Vegas, Ray. Well, I tell you, he was very impressive, very consistent. That left jab proved to be the key punch in the entire fight. Witherspoon had it tough. He was just too tight and just couldn't get his punches off. So Pinklin Thomas being embraced in his corner. Angelo Dundee, I feel quite sure, thinks that he has another heavyweight champion. He has had two. One of them was named Ali, wasn't a bad fighter. The other one out of Ali's camp, former sparring partner Jimmy Ellis, and here tonight, perhaps a third in Pinklin Thomas. It would be a great birthday gift for Angelo. You know, the other thing that strikes me, too, is every time the mantle passes in the heavyweight division, everybody makes the comparison to Muhammad Ali, and I think in this case, there is no comparison, Pinklin Thomas to Muhammad Ali. They're different types of fighters, and maybe finally the comparisons will stop. Totally different styles, totally different personalities. There's always a different person in the heavyweight division. And another factor to keep in mind, too, because we have come to the way now that we are going to be decided upon it by a decision. Remember the point that was taken away from Tim Witherspoon for backhanding. And that could have a profound effect on the outcome of this fight. It's a costly point, uh, especially in a fight as close as this one, Brian. So Tim Witherspoon, who I would have to think, he says, I want it. You just saw him do that. And perhaps he has, but oftentimes you get a very different perspective of just what's going on from where we sit than you do when you're in there. I don't have to tell you that. Well, a fighter can tell when he's, you know, when he's behind on points, and at the end of the fight, if there's a feeling that comes over you that you know that you didn't give it your best, and, uh, you know, it's all downhill. Well, it's very tough to say. Usually they say the challenger has got to bring the fight to the champion, but I think it's fair to say that Pinklin Thomas did, in fact, bring the fight to Tim Witherspoon tonight. Well, Pinklin made the fight, and in fact, the left jab worked all night. It was a beautiful, beautiful display of uh, a left jab. All right, suspense is over. Let's go up to the ring announcer, Chuck Hall, for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a majority decision. <laughs> Judge Hal Miller scores 114 Witherspoon, 114 Thomas. Judge Dalby Shirley scores 115, 112. And Judge Dwayne Ford scores 116, 112. For the winner by majority decision and new WBC heavyweight champion of the world, Pinky Thomas. Well, we have a new champion. It simply could not have been any closer. I'm not sure I saw quite as close a fight as the judges did, but as I said, I've seen some strange things go on here. And what a long road it has been for Pinklin Thomas. Drug addiction, was a great athlete as a kid, turned to drugs, kicked the drugs, started fighting rather late in life. Credits his wife, Kathy, with being a big part of the success that has culminated with a victory in a championship in the heavyweight division tonight. He is a happy man. It has been a long road, and it is a very happy ending for Pinklin Thomas. So Thomas is the new champion of the WBC. Tim Witherspoon thought he won the fight. He had his hands held aloft. Chuck Hall, a ring announcer, keeping everybody in suspense until the last moment. Now it is no longer in suspense. And Larry Merchant is with the new champion, Pinklin Thomas. Larry. Pinklin. Well, obviously some pandemonium here and justified. Pinklin, you've come a long way. It's been a hard road. What are your thoughts? Well, I'll tell you, man, everything going through my mind right now. I don't know what to say. Uh, got a little bit of tears in my eyes, but everybody had to see me and cry. I'm just so happy. I can't realize. I can't believe it. I just, I got to wake up in the morning and see the belt. I promise my little boy the belt. I'm going to give me 20 in the morning for a birthday. This is just a great day for me. Pinklin, you were complaining about your sore ribs later in the fight. What happened? I wasn't complaining. No, no I didn't no, have no hurts. No. I just seen my jab kept working for me. It was irritating. Me. He kept acting as I was thumbing him. So. Well, there was and one uh, picture that showed that you accidentally did thumb him. But when did you think that you had him under control and had his style solved? Well, it was just a matter of 
figuring Tim out. I know he carried that cross hand style. And uh, I just really wanted to establish my jab and work things off of it. I feel the jab into his body, from his head to his body, took it from him because I seen his body wasn't, didn't have no muscle tone to it. And uh, I've learned to hit a guy on his shoulders and the chest to the body, you know, and it, and it, and it takes the gas from him. I seen his legs in the fourth round. He was kind of wobbling, you know. Were you tired in the last several rounds? No, I was just pacing myself, really. My corner kept telling me to go, and I seen I had it under control. As long as he wouldn't hit me with nothing to bounce, and all I had to do was step back when he got ready to fire because I seen it coming. Can you regroup your thoughts just for a moment? You talk about your wife, your child. Uh, this is one of the more unusual and touching stories of, of recent boxing history for you to come back from where you came from. Yeah, my wife has been a great inspiration and a, a tool in my career, just like my hands and legs in the ring. And my kid also has been had to go through all the trial and tri tribulation in here as with us. And we've had to have our, we suffer, everybody go through them though. But from my background to my present right now, I'm just so happy. And I hope that, you know, from what I've accomplished will inspire all the people in the world. And I'm going to try to be a great champion. Quickly, what are your plans now? Who do you, who would you like to fight next? Right now, I'm going to go and just get with my wife. I'm going to show my boy the belt. I'm going to look at it. I said I wasn't going to look at it until I want it. So I don't even know what it looked like. And then I want to just give me a little rest and then I, you know, come back with something. Thank you very much, Pinklin Thomas. And now back to Barry and Ray at ringside. All right, thank you very much, Larry Merchant. And there are champions all around the Riviera here, former convention center, surrounded by heavyweight champions. I've got two of them surrounding me right now. The WBA heavyweight champion, Jerry Cotsia, and the IBF heavyweight champion, Larry Holmes. And they, of course, are going to have a fight upcoming. We're going to talk about that in just a moment. But first of all, let me get your impressions of the fight that we just saw. We have a new champion in boxing. That's what we need, another heavyweight champion, Larry Holmes. But it was a very good fight. Yes, I agree with you. Uh, Barry was a very good fight, but again, they had a championship fight without the champion. I'm the champion, and no, and I think the world know it. These guys keep fighting each other, and the title keeps changing hands. Uh, I had the title six years, reigning heavyweight, undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. All right, eventually this will all get settled for sure. Jerry Cotsia, the WBA champion, let me ask you, before we talk about you two guys, let's talk about what we saw tonight. Well, I, I expected Thomas to beat with his spoon, and I don't think this is good news for Larry because Larry had a tough call with Tim Witherspoon, and Pinklin Thomas made real easy work of him, and I fought a draw with um, Pinklin Thomas, I fought a draw. So, um, if I'm Larry, I'll think twice about my upcoming fight. The kid does have a very effective left jab. We've always talked about your left jab. We saw a pretty good one tonight. Yes, Pink have a good left jab, but if I were box thinking, Pinkham Thomas, I would use some of his gloves. But no or less, you know, Jerry uh, is making a lot of statements. I'm not worrying about Jerry. All he had to do is sign the contract. I had done it all. I gave money up. I put money up. I, I postponed dates. I, re I postponed my retirement. I had done it all, Barry. And hey, just to pr prove to the people, I'm it. I'm the man. I'm the heavyweight champion in the world. Not Jerry Cosell, not Pinkham Thomas, but me, Larry Holm, the undisputed reigning heavyweight champion in the world. The world knows it. Let the world be the judge of this, Barry. I don't got to tell you this because you know it. All right, Jerry Cotsia. Now, this man says we have to sign a contract. Now, we had heard there was a contract signed. Are we going to see Jerry uh, Cotsia fight Larry Holmes? We, we're definitely going to see this fight coming off. And uh, Larry Holmes is quite right, but he's been calling, calling the shots as well. And, uh, you know, uh, Larry Holmes is living with a dream. And that dream is not going to continue. All my it dreams used come to true, be. Larry. All of my dreams come true because if it wasn't, I wouldn't have been a heavyweight champion for six years. And as soon as this chop here put his name on the contract, I'm going to knock him out. And when the, when the judge makes his final decision next week, and then I'll be able to go forward with this fight. But all he has to do is come on, stay the hell out of South Africa, and come on right here and prove to me that he's the heavyweight champ. Don't worry about the dreams. My dreams come true. And when I knock you out, it'll be my other dream come true. And then I might let all of y'all have it. Because I'm bad. Everybody know it. Am I bad, y'all? Am I bad? 